Boxing is kind of inherently in the hip hop culture. So you may not be trying to play hip hop music, in which case you're going to be playing rhythm flute. Okay? And so um, we'll start with kind of the chop. And this would be, uh, or uh, like the slap. So a bass would go like, dink, 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 dink. And that's what um, one of the first sounds I started emulating. So um, to do this on a flute, you just open up your mouth and go, let me hear you. Yeah, and you got to show the teeth and the whole thing. Okay, and so on a flute, if you keep your mouth open, you get this airy tone. It's called an aeolian tone. So, not. I know everybody out there can play fine flute tone, but this is weird flute tone. Open mouth. Right? And so um, the notes are G, B flat, A, and F sharp. And each one gets a note, and each one gets a K. Right? and we get a nice little vamp, and it sounds like this. Right? All right, so that's the vamp that I teach everybody. There's a, shall I explain the whole little tune? You guys want to hear it? Sure, sure, okay, sure. Okay, so then there's a little bit of a chromatic passage. We go chromatic from G to C sharp, back to D. the top. All right, so the whole thing would sound like this, and this would be your G minor blues vamp. <laughs> and you would repeat ad nauseum, and then you would get your buddy to play with you. Right? All right? And so then you would switch. So this is how I kind of first approached some of these sounds, okay, from this kind of non-hip-hop way. But if we take it into beatboxing, you need three staple sounds. You need a hi-hat sound, you need some sort of drum or snare sound, and you need a bass drum kick sound. Mm -hmm. um, and we learn these without the flute. Um, so the first sound we learn is a hi-hat, a closed hi-hat sound struck with a stick, and it's T-S. Okay, it's super easy, right? Yeah. And then, okay, then um, a snare sound is kind of hard. It's kind of like saying poof, but without the O, it's like poof, poof, poof. But instead, we're going to teach an easy sound, which is a rim shot sound. That's when you take a stick and hit the side of the snare drum. And that's, that's just like that yeah, chop yeah. I was talking about. Yeah. Let's hear the, okay, so we will go. So already that's a real simple vamp, right? Okay, now you got to add the bass drum kick. Um, and this um, is a little difficult for some people to grasp. But there's back pressure behind the lips. We open our mouth as much as possible while closing our lips, all right? And we blow through the lips. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... This is why, you see, I worked at a grocery store, and I, we would have to stock these, these products. I would spend hours after the store was closed making... <laughs> and you could hone in on the tone after mm. years of stocking groceries. But yeah. the nice thing about beatboxing is that you take your mouth with you everywhere, right? right? So you can always work on this. You can work on this on the commute. If you take the train and you feel weird, you can put on sunglasses and then you will be anonymous making these sounds. Just cover your mouth. They will think you're crazy, but it's okay. Okay, so let me hear it. Well, mine's, mine's a little bit like a hard time. Mm. Okay, well, I'll show you the other way we can make this sound. 
and it's with the tongue. And kind of like French articulation sometimes you'll see like, you know, where the tongue comes out of the mouth. And so, same setup. Open jaw, all right? Open soft palate and all this, but we use our tongue. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And on a mic, that would be perfect. <laughs> and so, this is actually how I would double tongue a bass drum kick would be... And once it starts getting real fast, you tuck the tongue, kind of like a D articulation on a flute, and it's like butter. Say butter. 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 You put it on toast, right? Yeah. Butter. All right, so butter, 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 butter would be. Right? Okay, so now we put all these together, and we use mnemonic devices to keep our brain in sync with what's happening. So the first one we learn is book, right? Book. 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 And then instead of saying book, you make a beat. So it's bang. That's vast improvement already. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to make it more complicated, you add a TS in between those. Right? Which is boots, cats. Boots. Two things I love. Bang. <laughs> All right. Okay. There you go. Bang. Okay. So. Right. And another mnemonic device would be uh, like barbecue. So you can make this really complicated by going boots, cats, barbecue. Okay, so now, now these, these are, the mechanics are easy for anyone. Tone is a lifelong process, and it's the same on the flute. On the flute, at a young age, we learn to rip real fast. Tone, though, takes a long time to get everything relaxed right, you know? And it's the same with the beatboxing. So don't be deterred if your sounds don't come out the way you want them to on the first time. Just remember that daily practice is essential. Practice is fixing problems. So define your deficiencies and fix them. Fix the problems. And be consistent. If that sound sucks, but it consistently sucks, that's better than getting something that who knows what's going to happen every time you try and put it together. All of these sounds work well on the flute and need to be practiced on the flute so we can go right like you can get it with good flute tone or what I call alien tone so right it's just that like that light sound um, and I would start using book and boots cats with I mean anything like March or something like this, you can, uh, or like um, uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Right? So any folk song or anything like this, just start playing with these simple mnemonics. And that would be how you would start the beat. There you have it. Okay. <laughs> Bang. Cool. I'll have you get home. Uh, <laughs> on a mic, uh, too, I might add, it's way easier. Because as a street performer, you have to... <laughs> like when we played in here, you know, I was like letting it rip really loud. Mm -hmm. But um, on a mic, where beatboxing actually happens is on a mic, yeah. generally. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, these, these sounds are soft. That's all you need. And, mm -hmm. and so the, the tone production becomes a little easier because it's just small sounds in here. Mm -hmm. Just a word to the wise. Cool. So, CP and Fluter Scooter, mm -hmm. I think that you've got your lesson right there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that helps. Nice. Yeah.